meet their doom. We destroyed them with confident effort. Lysira, she took a little bit of damage. Um, we turned around and were able to kill them. Got some gold and some materials and helped put a little bit of a dent in our uh, adventuring debt, as it were. And let's see. We can make gardens. That's that's impressive. And in the meantime, there's a fountain of the great dragon. That sounds interesting. Yeah, if you if you see a spot like this, you really probably want to. Well, how do I explain this? You want to jump on it as quick as you can. Take advantage of wild game here, fertile land here, uh, the defense of the terrain. You know, this is like a great building spot. We may be gimped because of the lack of Gildar and the, the adventuring group being super powerful, but it, it's hard to say. So, that was me thinking about whether we should go to the uh, start a new video. But I looked and one's already started, so. At this point, let's see where she's going to go up through here. See that there's a spider drone there, and up reveal more treasure nearby. She also missed that piece here, but the, the fountain seemed interesting, so. Let's see. Notice how it says we, we, we can't build a settlement, because we need 100 Gildar for the new settlement. So, all we're left to do is just continue adventuring. And that's why you learn these things in beta. Um, you figure out what's going to happen, what's, you know, how's the game going to treat you, what can you expect, you know, what's realistic, um, crazy monsters... There's a whole bunch of things that you never really know is what's going to pop into your view. You know, like this hero Basadia, the the air shard shrine, a bone ogre. Yes, that's right, a bone ogre. Uh, we That thing will be sitting up there for probably an entirety of a game. Um, in beta. In the real version, eventually you'll be able to take those out or try to convince them to come work for you or, you know, uh, things of that nature. So... Uh, let's see, eventually farming's going to be really useful, let's just keep learning that. And uh, we need to eventually try to settle down to begin some of our learning process, but in the meantime, all we can do is continue on. Look at this, this is a perfect spot. A refugee camp for additional population, fertile land over here, wild game for additional food, I mean... You couldn't ask for an awesome, more awesome location for purposes of starting and exploring. Uh, let's have her come swing back over and probably knock on that inn later. Okay, next. Pouch with some gold. Great. Refugee camp over here. And look, it's an inn. In some of the previous games, I've done this wild goose chase a couple times. Its payoff isn't half bad. You just gotta travel to somewhere to get something, then travel somewhere else. and You don't have to do it with just the one person, so... There's always that to consider. You can have multiple adventurers continuing on the pathway to the story. Uh, for example, you could have her come over here and start a new quest. Sure. They, they say it's over here. Well, we can do that with the king on our way over, so. Not that we'd be able to really defeat that scath without actual losses, but. In the meantime, let's adventure some more. Let's have her reveal more of the map. A bandit, a fire shard. This is like a one-stop shopping area for great land to set up. Unfortunately, and I do say unfortunately, 
because we have a group of adventurers that have taken up all our money, we have no way of really uh, setting up a an actual town yet, because it costs money to do so. Alright. But, if the time were to come, we'd have free fertile land according to this. So, it still costs 100 Gildar to set one up. Okay. King's gonna go there. This is a really bad area to actually have all those quests in. I mean, it's not undefeatable. And actually, looking at this map, it really seems like we're playing on the same map again. Whether it was tiny, small, or large, these are all some of the same things we've seen on many of our other maps. Huh, I guess it's learning. But, some of these were not supposed to be random, so... We'll just have to take it for what it's worth. And that was this map. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Catch you in another video. And we're looking forward to later on this week, probably Beta 2B, with a lot of new improvements coming in. So, let's hear it for that.